I'm going to record it just in case. Okay, I'm recording it too, so it's all good. <laughs> okay, great, great. Thank you for doing this with me. I really appreciate Not it. Not a problem. How are you? It's a That's pleasure good. to actually talk to you live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel really good. Um, okay, so I have my thing set up. I want okay. to make sure I can get the, the you know, so you can What see I want to see is I want to see the actual foot plate. I want to be able yeah. to see your feet. In, what okay, are you doing today? Uh, right, right, perfect, there. perfect. Okay. Okay. What are you doing okay. today? Pull. Pull, okay. Let me put my gloves on because I don't want calluses on my I hands. I know, I know. I know the most women don't want calluses on their hands. Perfectly fine. <laughs> I've had them all my life from gymnastics, trapeze, things like that, and I'm done. You're done with that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good to see you. Thank you for your help. I really appreciate Not it. Not a problem. And is that the right angle of the plate? Yeah, I would... Which way are you going to be facing? The window. The window? Okay. 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 I'll be able to see how your back, how you're holding yourself. Okay. So if I was here, if I'm doing it, you know. Um, okay. And, and what's your issue mainly with the, what do you feel is an issue with the deadlift? Maybe I go too fast, so I need to slow down. Mm -hmm. Also. How tall are you? Huh? How tall are you? Five. Five. Five and, and half. Seven. Okay, I don't. Five, it doesn't have to be precise. Five five is good. Uh, no, five five, five on, a, on a quarter. I, I wanted to. I grew last year. Oh wait, really? Okay. I grew this much, so uh -huh. I'm five five seven eight. I'm almost five six. Oh, really? Uh, when can I grow? I want to still grow, but I haven't grown. <laughs> it's a mental thing. Oh, it's a mental thing. I'm gonna start mentally see if I can stretch myself up. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I got my hair cut yesterday, and the girl said that my hair grew four and a half inches in three months. Wow. And well, so you know I, what? No matter how much mental, if I take off my wig, my hair won't grow. <laughs> okay, right now. I've tried the hair, the mental to grow my hair. It hasn't grown, but I just buy a wig, so it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> You're hilarious. Okay, so, um, yeah, and I want to make sure that my where my hips are and where my head are are the right. Okay. I would, okay. I would, uh, what, what size band is that? The actual length, is that a 41 inch band? It's the one, the second white band that came out. The new Power Force band? Uh, is that what it's called? Yeah, the, the thinner ones, the real thin ones? Okay. Yeah. I would do, do you feel that you're getting good range or do you want to do a loop around it? Let I me see, let I me see where it starts. <laughs> Get on there and I let's see where it starts. Yeah, I don't think I could loop that one because because what? It's you can loop, a little, you can loop it'll be twice as hard and I haven't gotten to 40 yet. Oh, okay. All right. Um, but I could do a shorter one. You could do, you could loop it once on one side, but let's, let's start it like this oh, and let's, see. let's look at it. Are you saying loop it Just to once. the, to the bar? To the hook. Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant double it more. No, no, no. Cause that would be really, okay. Yeah. So let me see. Luckily, they, they seem to be a little shorter, so the tension yeah. starts a little lower. Yeah. Is that, is that, how's that? Yeah. Now, you see where you're, see, look, look, I'm going to show you now what you're doing. As soon okay. as you're starting, you're doing this. Let's say that this was the bar, right? You're doing, uh -huh. let me, I'm going to, so you can see. You're yeah, doing, you. you're trying to do this. You see this position? Okay. Where my knees are like this, you need uh -huh. to be here and pull your back tight. So you first start out, you grab the bar. Usually uh -huh. everybody grabs the bar above their, their toes. You want that bar to be stuck here, like in the midline of your feet. Pull yourself tight and pull yourself up a bit. Once you already have tension, don't be here, be here, right? Where you're stretching your hamstrings, then squeeze into the floor and go straight up, come back straight down. Don't do this. Don't do your knees forward. Because that's a Thank squat. You. So your knees okay. don't come forward. Keep your knees back and your right. hamstrings stretched out. Okay. Okay? Super fun already. Um, so then I'm going to loop it. How do you loop it? I've never, I loop it a different way. On just the, maybe that. Okay. I'll show you how to loop it. Look. That another thing. That way you learn how to loop real quick. All you do is do this. Let's say you're doubling the band. So you go like this. Now here's okay. the band, right? On the, on the bar. You always grab the bottom one, the bottom side, and just go out. 
And then if you want it to be even, you grab the other side and you also do it out. Then you grab both and you put them together. Now the band's looped. That's nice. It. That's it. That's it. That's it. And it'll give you more range. But the power force bands appear to be a little shorter anyways. So they're giving yeah. you a little more range than the normal ones. For my yeah. Five, five, and seven, eight. Okay. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But at this rate, in like three or four years, you're gonna be six feet tall. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. All it's right. Easy. Okay. You see the band? Try to push the band further back so it's more in the middle. The band itself. Yep. You want it to be in between your legs like that. All right. Now, tighten your upper back and get tight. Tighten your upper back and, and pull up a bit, but don't go all the way up. Just pull up a bit. Feel the tension in your legs. Now squeeze and push the floor away and just go up. Squeeze, 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 squeeze into the floor. Right there. Push up, up, and squeeze. Go all the way through. Go, push your hips through. Like this? Yeah. Squeeze through. Squeeze tight. Oh, you see your hamstrings working. I'll tell you that. Because you are lean, so you could see them. Push the floor away. Push the floor away. Like thrust your hips forward. This way. Yeah. And then do I, when you say push it, do you want me to go faster? No, that, uh, yeah, a little faster. What I want you to control is the way down a lot. Like control, 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 right back up. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Feel like you're pushing that, the plate away from the bar through your heels. Yeah, I'm putting my toes up. Well, you can see your hamstrings working, I'll tell you that. My kinky. Now you you what? My kinky. Your kinky. For my lap. <laughs> you're, you're doing good. What? Whatever you're saying. I I I don't speak Californian, so. <laughs> For my lap, kiss in the store sign. Oh, okay. Your lats. Okay. <laughs> Wow, you're doing good squeezing. I'll tell you that. Okay, now start letting it go lower. Below your knees, a little lower, 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 lower. Let it stretch. Push into the floor away, push the floor away. You're not going to come up as high eventually. Yeah. See how you're letting your knees go forward? Remember, yeah. your it's a hinge, not your knees forward. Hinge back, hit your buck back right there. Good. Wow, you have a, a lot of stamina. You could tell from your years of uh, dancing or gymnastics because you're... you're you're maintaining your upper back. Now the next time, what I want you to do is I want you to um, rotate your elbows in more so that your lats even stay tighter. So like when you grab the bar, you go like, like this, where you physically feel like you're doing this, right? Obviously you cannot turn the bar, but you turn your, your lats in, like there, you see? And you feel your lats get tight. Yeah, there. Okay. Feel your lats yeah. get tight and it'll keep you more, more uh, tight. And uh, the tighter you stay in deadlift, the more reps, effective reps you're going to get. Because you're not losing tension. You're not losing, bleeding out the, the energy. You want the energy right. to stay tight. Right. And so my hand, basically, if the bar is right here, my fingers are going. They're thinking of turning this way and they're thinking of turning this way. Like if you're breaking, making the bar into a U. 
So you're right. you're you're turning your lats tight. You feel the lats right, get tight. Feel yeah. I can feel my lats, but they're tiny. Nope. That's, this is okay. <laughs> but you still feel them. They're still there. <laughs> I can feel them. Yeah, I can feel them. Okay. All right. So now, bent row, what do you do it with? I do with this yellow. Man, you have uh, every kind of band in the world. Nice. Yeah. Everybody would that looks like a band. designer band. I don't know. Apparently, only movie stars have the yellow band. I have no idea where you got that from, but it looks cool. <laughs> Whatever it is, it goes good with your, uh, what are those? Uh, I forgot what they're, your flowers there? <laughs> the, the, the purple ones? What? The orchidias, right? What? Those are orchidias, right? Orchids? Orchidia. Okay. Orchidia. Mm -hmm. but, I, but this feels so different to me, you know? So. Okay, and you think I should loop it? No, no. In this case, I, I wouldn't loop it. How do you do it? Do you do it overhand or underhand? Over. Okay, so if you do it overhand, you tend to be much more you would tend to be, if when you do it underhand, right, you yeah. could be more here, like this. When you do it overhand, you're gonna be more tabletop, right? But the key is to stay tight and pull. When you pull overhand, the bar is not gonna come as low to the stomach. Usually when you pull this way, you're gonna bring the bar as low as possible because of the angle the elbows are moving. If you're pulling like this, you, you can't go like, it's very hard to do because when you do it, you end up rotating rather than actually. So here, your elbows flare out a bit and, and they pull a little higher. So you'll probably end up a little bit higher in the ab where the bar would touch. Right. While the underhand, you would end up down here. The overhand, you end up here depending on everyone's different limb length. But you're, it's, it'll be hard for you to pull here because you're going to force your shoulder to have to like do a weird to pull it here. So you end up flaring out and then pulling your, so you're almost doing this, right? Because yeah, you're almost staying a little shoulders. more out. I, keep them, I don't move, I won't, I won't move my shoulders. So do you, do you suggest the underhand then? Whichever way you want, whatever you're used to. What I'm just saying is that the, the bar is gonna end up a little higher on the overhand than underhand. On underhand, because of the angle, that you're pulling, you're able to pull that bar lower into the abs because when you're like this, when you pull, it's just natural that you're going to pull lower. If you're right. here, it's really unnatural to pull it this way. I see. All and right? right, okay. And the lower is good because... Well, it, it, it's just, I'm just saying that it's a different bar path for however you grab it. Right. Right? So... I mean, is there, is there a reason to go lower? Like in is general. there, okay, usually people have less problem pulling it underhand because you're less tabletop. When you're more tabletop, right, Where, because the overhand keeps you more tabletop, a lot of yeah. people that don't have good back stability have a problem in this position rather than this position. Right, okay, I think I'm pretty strong in my back. Okay, all right, so then, you, you could, then you could do yours. You could do, you could come doing yours, that's fine. Okay, but if you... Yeah. See something, I'll tell you. Yeah, thank you. This is so fun. Thanks so much, Nick. No problem. <laughs> Love it. Uh, all we need is your dancing around and, and cartwheels and all that. That's what we need. <laughs> Ready, you told me not to. <laughs> okay, so it's like this, right? And then yeah, more. pull yourself up a bit. Now, don't go all the way down. Right there. Now, Pull it slower, pull, pull, and squeeze at the top. There you go. Squeeze, 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 and squeeze it at the top. Oh, so hold it. Yeah, squeeze and get a nice squeeze in there. Let it go down. Now get another, get another one. Try not to have your hands like this. Like this, try to be straight with your, with your wrists. So you're pulling outward. 
Ooh, good, good. I see the tension. <laughs> I'll show you when you finish what I mean. I, I know what you mean. You mean have good posture in my ribs. Yeah. Yeah. Because right now they appear to be like flipping back on you. Yeah. And you notice how you're standing up rather than actually oh, bent over right there is where you want to be right there. This one will work on it next time more, right? Because your height, your, your, your stance, your form, you're really high. And if you're really high, then you're better off with the underhand, right? By, by really high, you mean standing up more. Yes, you're standing up more. You are... So I started standing up more. You are here, right? You are basically here when, the, when overhand is here. See how my, it's almost like deadlift. Look how my ass is back. I'm here, I bring like this. Like this, you see how tabletop I am? The other position up here, that's more here. Right, okay, so then. All okay. right, if you wanna be up high, I would do underhand. You wanna be here, the, if, if underhand, you still, you gotta, you gotta try to maintain this position here. Not the overhand, and also avoid this. This is what you're doing. What I tell you is like, you see how my wrist? You're doing this. Yeah. You're like yeah, doing a, a, a weird. You want to be when you're pulling. You pull out when you're overhand. Out and then back. Out oh, and back, like, oh, and don't do this with your wrist, because that'll hurt your wrist. Yeah, with the elbows out, you mean? Is that what you mean? Well, that, that's the thing. Overhand makes you have your elbows out a bit and then you bring them in out a bit and then so it's almost like doing this okay you let see? me just do it with just a bar because i think i can't okay. do more and just see how it just that bar almost do it it's like doing it's like doing what this so you're like there now flare out and then bring him in no, but see, then then turn them in. At the top, you turn them in. Oh. <laughs> there you go. It's almost, look, You uh, let me show you something. I don't know if you've done the, when you do the, if you do an Arnold press, an Arnold, or even the shoulder press. Look where my elbows, the shoulder press should be here. And when you go, the elbow rotates and then goes up, comes back down. Here, you're doing basically this, this. This, this with your overhand so bring him in and then it's just the natural movement of the shoulder doing it because if not you're forced to stay too too tight I for see. the overhand it'll hurt your wrist depending depending on how wide that bar is the problem is depending on how wide the bar is where you grab it whether the movement you want your 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 or else you're torquing your hands that's the, the whole thing and you never should torque your hands no don't torque your hands don't do that. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now um, curls? Yeah, curls. I use the same yellow band. Okay. And do I, you do drag curls or do you do strict bicep curls? What do you do? I think I do drag curls. You think you do drag curls. Okay. All right. I let's see. I think I watched you on a video doing drag curls. Well, I do many crazy things, so it depends what you watched. <laughs> depends what you watched. Now, you could actually do a drag curl because you have a very flat ab, so you're able to do drag curls. Okay. All right. Keep your elbows back. Yep. Right there. Perfect. Pull them back even more, the elbows. Pull, 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 pull. At the back, really pull them. And then at the top, you see that? Look, at the top, when you get up here, you do this. Don't do this. Just, just bring them as tight as and pull your elbows back. Don't do any turn of the wrist. Perfect control. Pull your elbows back more, 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 more. You, the more you pull them back, the more you'll feel the pain in the bicep.
See how you're moving them forward? You're trying to keep your elbows forward. <laughs> Good. Man, my daughter would love your view. She would sit there, be writing and writing and writing or reading and reading. <laughs> Good, good. You see where we're at right now? This is where you want to start. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, no, this, we're at the we're at the point where you want to start. Thank you. Good. Can you can you handle the white band? Is this more than the white band that, that you just got or less? A little less. Okay. I would next time use the white band. Okay. Nice. Good. Yeah, you definitely could use the white band. It's okay. <laughs> thing is, my biceps grow a lot. Uh huh. And then, and then I don't. And you don't want to have big biceps. I know. You know it you makes know, perfect sense. I mean, I want to be feminine. Uh, uh, okay, so yes, that's the whole I idea. The, I don't do the, what do you call it, calf raises, because I... Oh, the calf raises? I don't do them. Everything I do is calf, and they're too strong already. Yeah, I see. You you got big calves for, for being thin. You could see that you have very shapely calves, so there's not a... Yeah. Yeah, so then you don't need it. It's a simple... Listen, there's certain... You don't need it. Simple as that. Everything I do, dancing, handstands, yeah. cartwheels, everything's pointing your toes, you know, I felt, and then walking. Okay, walking this out. is great. I'd love <laughs> this to is do awesome. This. I'd love to do this this one again so I get the... Yes, the, yes, we'll do it a couple of times so we start getting... So you get the... Once you get it down, you'll know what to do, and then you just reach out to me whenever you need. Uh, uh, am I doing... Because sometimes what happens is we do good form until we change the tension. And then a higher tension changes our form and we're not sure exactly what that's supposed to do. Yeah, that makes total sense. Because tension affects your form. It all looks pretty when you can handle it. It all breaks down once you can. So the key is maintaining your form even with high tension. Okay. Or even in failure, maintaining that form. And that takes practice. I love it. Okay? You did great. Yeah. Awesome. Just, that was, that was awesome, good. okay? <laughs> No, eres muy simpático y muy inteligencia. Ooh, eh, it's even cooler in Spanish. <laughs> Gracias. Okay. okay, besitos. Bye. Wow. Bye.